This is my new soldering iron stand for my Hakko FX 950 soldering station. This stand, unlike this one, which has no switch mechanism in it, is normally shipped with the 951, which is the digital version of the um, 950, which has the, I think, odd temperature control. And that's, as I've said in previous videos, why I purchased this one, I can adjust the temperature just by turning the knob. This station with a switch in it will reduce the temperature of the iron after a preset amount of time. I can't set that amount of time on this station. I've only seen it do it once because I kept playing with it. <laughs> I think it's about five minutes. Um, on the 951, it can be adjusted from up to, uh, well, from something to up to 30 minutes. If I need this to not go to sleep for a longer period of time, I have my original stand that doesn't have a switch, which is pretty cool. I'll leave them side by side. I think my, almost all of the time I'll use this, but there may be some sort of niche cases where I've got massive big tips and I'm I'm trying to do something a bit interesting. Maybe that I'll um I'll use the original stand then. Um, but on a day-to-day -day basis this is the stand I'll be using. So you've seen how it works. I can demonstrate the, the whole back of the stand tilts. It actuates a micro switch um, with a return spring. The station connects what would be common on the 3.5mm stereo plug to mains ground um, and it comes through to the stand where it is left unconnected. I think there may be an option in some of these for that to go back to the from, from, from the mains earth back through here to the spring. The, there's, there's a piece of um, a section of the um, stand has got the paint removed from it so the spring can couple into the metal of the stand and then in turn by this um, little screw thing here can get through the paint and transfer or, or couple the, the mains earth right back through to here. So I think that's a possibility. Um, it's not how this one's set up. I believe it's genuine, um, but I can't be sure of that either. So that's the the ground connector on this cable that's that's the, the one right at the, at the at the back um i pulled the whole switch mechanism apart at the back here um the tip and the ring are connected to a micro switch which is normally open when you put the iron in it closes it and the tip and the ring are also connected together at the stand via a 4.5 kilo ohm resistor. So the station will see either 4.5 kilo ohms when the iron's in use or 0 ohms when the iron is in the stand. And that's all there is to it. Um, I may have been tempted to make one, but I didn't actually have access to this information. Um, but that's, that's what I see in there. Um, I think it's genuine, I think my measurements are right. Um, no guarantees, I'm not saying you can go off and make one of these. Um, that's what I found, it's interesting I thought. And um, before long, the light on the um, iron, as, I've, as I may have said before, flashes when the iron is ready to use, goes solid if the iron's too hot or too cold. And the little red lead, I think it went red and green and went solid after the iron had been in this stand for a long enough period of time untouched. And I, I, I assume it drops temperature at about 200 Celsius. Um, I think that's what the 951 says in its manual somewhere. And that preserves the tip life and these genuine tips are expensive. I have to say, having the 950, the, the limited amount of used it, the 950, this lovely um, Hakko soldering pencil and a genuine tip is a joy to use. Um, it is by far the nicest soldering iron I've ever had. I'm very, very happy with it indeed. Um, the extra expense to get this stand, well, the tips aren't cheap. Um, I don't know, it's a shame it didn't just come with it, but I really like it. 
I really like the whole sort of electromechanical thing. The sort of generic T12 iron I have has some sort of motion sensor in the handle um, and it didn't even ship with the stand so this sort of electromechanical gee wizardry wasn't an option. Um, but I really like it. It's really effective. Um, by far the best soldering iron I've ever had and a whole lot more soldering iron than I can fairly claim to need. <laughs> Um, that's my little drawing. That's what I found in there. I don't know what these slots in the side are for. Um, I'm not entirely sure what this is for. Maybe for a bit of a wipe. I don't know. Um, but I'm very, very happy with it indeed.